Wow, so I'm back with a movie review, the first movie review of 2011. The last movie review I did was for Tron Legacy, uh, which I saw in IMAX 3D. My God, will that Twitter just be quiet? Um, yeah, so I went to see I Am number four today. Um, it was actually came out on Wednesday, um, but um, decided on a whim to go and see it tonight. And wow, it was better than I actually thought it was going to be. I mean, I had seen a couple of trailers and thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, you know, I just, just, just thought, you know, we'll just go and see the film. And it's basically, it's been described as Twilight for superheroes, or no, for aliens rather, not superheroes, for aliens. And it was just, it was a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, Alex Pettifer, who plays the uh, lead character number four, um, He's basically from 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 a planet called Lorien, and um, there was nine of them, nine gifted youngsters who fled their planet and were you know ended up in Earth. But one by one, these evil like clan known as the Mogadorians have been um, after them and killing them one by one in order. Um, so the film pretty much opens up with number three getting killed, and um, it pretty much just from the word go it was it was just spectacular the story was was very good um, I thought it was well told um, you've got the the number four here he was known as John you know every time one one of the ones before him were killed him and his um his guardian um, Henry played by Timothy Oliphant who was fantastic at it, by the way um, they, they, they keep moving because these Mogadorians are after after them so it was just so interesting to see how he's like running away from something he's not running to something he's running away from something you know sometimes people are like running towards something but here's John knows what he's what he is and why he's running um, but um, you know they come to a town in in Ohio called uh, you know paradise and um, it's just a case of he ends up settling in, meets a gorgeous girl played by Diana Agron, um, who plays Sarah. She's beautiful, by the way, and you know ends up falling in love with her and this, that, and the other. But is he's also kind of bullied at school because there's a kid there known as Sam who's like a, a geek and um, is getting picked on by by some of the you know the football jocks as you do at school anyway. <laughs> and um, if we find out that his dad, Sam's dad, was actually looking for these nine aliens um, to bring them together and to like you know look after them you know it was it was it was all a bit cloudy at the beginning to figure out why Sam was so interested in in kind of, not that he was interested in John but John sort of kept close to him but eventually Sam was keeping keeping an eye on John and realized who what he was capable of and it was a case of well you know can you just tell me who you are John ended up saying yes this is who I am and your dad was right you know his dad went missing so it must have been you know as their, their theory was the Mogadorians captured uh, Sam's dad um, but as as the film goes on what we see is this hot blonde chick by the way I can only describe her as hot and blonde um, is we, we don't know her purpose to begin with at least I kind of think I, well I knew who she was she's number six she, she's the sixth like alien and she's actually looking for for John and um, but she's trying to remove any evidence of his existence so that the Mogadorians don't find him so quickly um, but eventually she catches up with him and they take down the Mogadorians and I have to say the way that they the fight sequences the way that the effects were used in this film was absolutely brilliant I mean number six is power her main power was that she could she could teleport basically and her the way that she teleported is like it was almost like she could just fade her entire physical form it was just brilliant it was just absolutely brilliant the, the first time she did it I just sat there and I went oh okay so that's what she can do <laughs> right um, number four you've just been outed my dear boy she beats you hands down and I was highly impressed, and the the, one, the the girl that actually plays number six is a girl called Teresa Palmer. She's from Australia, and I've just realised that if they were to do a remake of the Supergirl movie or do a new Supergirl movie, I want her to play the maid of might. I don't care what anyone says. Teresa Palmer, 
you should play Supergirl because you've got the chops for it, you've got the charisma, you've got the personality, she's got the moves for heaven's sake. I mean, the way that she just the way that she just behaved in this film, it was just brilliant. Um, so it really was a top-notch film. Absolutely loved it. So I would recommend going to see it if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, and let me know what you thought of it. Because as I said, you know, I went in there thinking, well, I have seen a trailer, but it was a few months, a couple of months ago that I saw the trailer, read a bit about it, and I thought I was a bit bored today. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll go and see it. Let's see what um, let's see what it's about. And wow. Just it just didn't disappoint me whatsoever. I was highly impressed, but um, yeah, definitely worth a look. Um, so for sure, well, well, well played. Who knows if there's going to be a sequel? I mean, if it does really well, there there is. It's lined up for a sequel. Okay, the the ending is pretty much lined up for a sequel. Let's see what happens. But yeah, brilliant. Loved it. So that's it from me. My God, first movie review of 2011. <sighs> We're only in February, okay. <laughs> well, next month, I am going to see Sucker Punch and Battle Los Angeles. So I'm going to see Battle Los Angeles first, and then that comes out in two weeks' time, and then towards the end of the month, Sucker Punch. Five hot, beautiful girls battling dragons, Nazis, futuristic robots. Oh, yeah, it's going to get intense. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.